Submachine guns were the weapons of choice for most agents from launch date through Meta 1.3, but started to receive considerable changes in Update 1.4. Today, it's time to take a look at the best-in-class SMGs for Update 1.5. What's going on ladies and gents, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and as you requested in today's division video, I'm going to cover the best in class weapons for the submachine gun classification. And you will want to watch this entire video as there are a few statistical surprises in store. Currently in the game, there are 8 weapon archetypes in the SMG classification. They are the AUGs, Full Auto MP5s, MP7s, PP19s, SMG9s, TA21s, UMP-45s, and Vector-45 ACPs. For the purpose of ranking these SMGs, I will strictly be using the raw base damage stats found in the data mine for update 1.5 for both burst and sustained damage and include some of my thoughts as to how each weapon performs. This doesn't mean that a low ranked weapon cannot outperform a higher ranked one as this ranking system does not take into account damage rolls and talents and only takes into account the raw weapon damage numbers of each archetype. First up, and in last place, is the T821, as this SMG was never in the running for anything but the bottom of the charts. While it does show laser gun-like stability and the shortest reload time of any SMG, the fire rate of just 550 rounds per minute is slower than most pistols. Although the T821 is tied for second with the AUG for most damage per round, the extremely slow RPM holds this weapon back from anything but the bottom of the SMG depth charts. In 7th place is the newly introduced UMP-45, which believe it or not has the highest base damage of any SMG. However, having the best damage and average reload speeds is not nearly enough to overcome the second slowest SMG RPM of just 600 rounds per minute. I was excited to receive the UMP as I have used it in many other FPS titles in the past, but you would be better served going with most any other SMG in the division. In 6th place is the PP-19, which sports decent base damage and an average rate of fire at 700 rounds per minute. Stat-wise, the PP-19 and UMP-45 are not far apart for ability to put damage down range, but the PP-19 clearly pulls ahead in available ammunition and sustained damage. In fact, the PP-19 is in first place for the ranking of sustained damage, as through the use of a mag mod, the magazine can reach into the 100 plus round counts before needing to reload. For those of you agents looking to run with an SMG for PvE, the PP-19 should be considered and is the clear choice for sustained damage. In 5th place is the AUG, and to this day its laser-like stability still impresses me. In addition, it looks apart from other SMGs as it uses a bullpup configuration. The AUG is tied with the TA-21 for the second highest base damage of any SMG and at 725 rounds per minute is extremely easy to handle and fire. The reload speed of 2.1 seconds is slightly higher than the SMG class leaders, but is not far off the mark. Overall, the AUG provides an uber-stable platform that is only held back from being higher on this list by its rate of fire. The Vector 45 ACP barely edges out the AUG to take 4th place on this list and statistically they are very similar. However, the Vector fires slightly faster at 750 rounds per minute, has a sub 2 second reload speed clocking in at 1.9 seconds, and has base damage stats close to that of the AUG. Although not as stable as the AUG, the Vector 45 ACP does push out slightly more damage and therefore takes 4th by a slim margin. In 3rd place, and this may surprise you, are the Full Auto MP5s. In Update 1.4, the MP5s were the clear choice for SMG users when it came to PvP and therefore best burst damage. However, in Update 1.5, the MP5 has been brought back just a pinch. Overall, the MP5 is an excellent choice as it has tremendous stability and the third fastest rate of fire at 800 rounds per minute. Reload speeds are identical to that of the AUG at 2.1 seconds, and this is still one of my favorite SMGs to equip. Only the lower than average base damage figures hold this competent SMG back from topping the charts. In second place is the SMG9, and I had to go over my damage calculations a few times to confirm this weapon's placement. In the intro, I told you there were a few statistical surprises and this is one of them. 
This was a tight battle with the MP5, but the SMG9 pulls ahead slightly due to its fire rate of 825 rounds per minute. Base damage for the SMG9 falls short of the heavy damage archetypes like the UMP, AUG, and TA-21, but it simply pulls ahead in RPM. I found the SMG9 to perform quite well, and despite its rather smallish appearance, it is able to pump out large amounts of damage over a short period of time. In first place, and back from the dead in update 1.4, is the MP7. This buzzsaw SMG was obliterated in meta 1.4 when it had its base damage cut by a whopping 27.6%, rendering this SMG virtually worthless. What makes the MP7 such a beast is its class-leading rate of fire of 950 rounds per minute. It is this fire rate that is able to elevate this weapon, which has the lowest base damage of any SMG, to the top of the charts for burst damage. Fire rate reigns supreme, and overall I enjoyed using this SMG as it effectively burns through targets, and its only limitation is its painfully small base starting mag. Even when equipped with a mag mod, this SMG still cannot match its other SMG cousins for sustained damage. However, in the area of burst damage, and therefore best for PvP, the MP7 is simply unrivaled. So, to recap this ranking chart, the AUG, Vector, MP5, and SMG9 are tightly packed together and offer many good platforms and options. The T821 should be avoided, and the UMP45 is not much better, so I would look elsewhere. The best for sustained damage is still the PP19, and the clear winner for burst damage is the MP7. As always, I would love to hear what you thought about my best-in-class SMG weapon review for update 1.5 feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division content in your life, feel free to sub my channel and follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. If you have any questions about any weapon in the division, look no further than my comprehensive weapon review playlist to answer any and all of your questions. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.